you're one of my best trades yes sir being on nasdaq absolutely beautiful so this trade gave us over 1000 pips in the market and you know yesterday we actually did not trade because yeah we've had that much profit right to just sit down and say that we are good for the rest of the week this week has been absolutely amazing right you already seen that on Monday, everyone else was panicking, you know, the stock market was crashing and everyone was trying to stay out of the market. And that is when we wanted to capitalize, right? So when there's fear in the market, that's where you go and grab all the opportunities, right? But when everyone else is seeing opportunities, that's when you want to stay out of the market right so it's a chilled saturday we just chilling over here the weekend withdrawals are drum roll please yes sir they are already in and you know one thing you should always do as a trader is to withdraw from the market right because there are going to be times when your strategy does not work right and if you're always going to keep the money in the broker right you're going to really regret it because imagine trading from 100 dollars throughout to $1,000 and then you go back to $300. You're trying to go back again to $1,000 instead of trading that 100 to maybe 500. And then when the weekend comes, you withdraw 300, you leave 200, you trade the 200 again. You are not excited to see the account big so that you can do all these other stupid things. You know, you start increasing your lot size, start getting overconfident, you know, all these other things. But if you just withdraw and just keep your account at a certain balance, you know, it will just help you stay grounded, stay humble in the market and then you avoid all of these other crazy things that can happen and also if you treat yourself right you have that satisfaction of seeing that work that you're putting in actually coming to life and actually giving you the results that you want right but today we're back again with the weekly analysis and i'm just gonna go on to these charts and explain every single thing in detail nasdaq looks absolutely lovely for the next week i think we're gonna have as good a week as we've just had and it's about to be insane right but before we do all of that good stuff if you're new to the channel welcome we trade the nasdaq over here if you're returning welcome back you already know what's up don't forget to hit the like button turn your post notifications and subscribe to the channel you feel me now let's just go right on to this chart all right perfect the girl is ready right over here we aren't even going to go on to our investing.com because we already know that after nfp we're going to have cpi and cpi is also just as crazy as nfp so we're going to have cpi on wednesday and on tuesday i think we have the producer price index and those are going to be the two major news events that we will have for this particular week other than that right you don't have to worry about anything unless the market just decides to keep crashing right unexpectedly so right over here let's just go on to our nasdaq charts and i have a little surprise for you guys for this week i'm actually going to analyze nasdaq and us 30 i'll see if i can do a little something on gold but my main focus for this current week is going to be nasdaq and us 30 right so over here as we go on to our chart i want to start by showing you one little cool something let me just put a moving average over here right i want to put a moving average so i normally don't like to use you know indicators and stuff like that but sometimes it's good to know how they work and i like to use the 200 moving average right because it actually tells you a lot of things in the market right so this one over here i only like to use it on the daily time frame and one interesting thing that i wanted you to see is it has been rejected on a really really big time frame right and nasdaq pierced the moving average right over here and rejected right back so those that know they are indicating 200 moving average on a daily time frame is a really strong confirmation for price action traders like me this is a really strong confirmation that the buyers you know they're rejecting at this you know really good zone and they want to keep pushing the markets higher right so for that reason alone i already have a bias on the nasdaq minus the fact that we already on an uptrend right minus this this fact alone right and also the fact that nasdaq has broken out of <laughs> this trend line i remember we had this trend line last week right and yeah those that did not expect this crash right over here they were really caught you know unaware because this was how the market opened on monday and then it just dropped rejected right back the very same monday right and then started to play around at this current zone and you already seen the videos where we actually capitalized on this market so right on to our analysis it looks really good like this so the same thing we're talking about right you already have to keep your basics the fundamentals in check right we have a simple analysis right over here we have a trend line that was getting rejected it should be respected 
because it didn't just form that trend line for no reason right it formed it so that you know something can happen right so we can see it formed the trend line with these two touches right and then on the third touch right it rejected at first with a daily candle and then it broke out of it so whenever you have a trend line you always want to have a break and a retest so we can consider the fact that the market can go and retest this trend line and then go back down but that's not the only thing you have to consider in this market right also consider the fact that the market has rejected from a certain zone right you can see this why is it like this <laughs> i was like what okay let me just change the color right over here if you notice i have a new background hey i hope you like it it rejected off of this level so it came into this little zone right over here yo if you've been watching the weekly analysis you already know that everything that i'm speaking about right now is what i explained in every other video right so the market just progresses as we speak right you see it came this little area here i had it marked over like this i said that the market might come into this zone and want to look for buys from that particular zone those that actually listened i don't be seeing your people's results though that's really you know motivating i see all of those results that you're saying you're like oh i watched the weekly analysis and i managed to take you know 30 pips i managed to take 500 pips i managed to take this that i'm now trading like you and i'm like okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying but it's really motivating to see that people actually benefit from this so right over here you have to consider all of those minus the fact that yes the market has broken out of the trend line what is the bigger picture saying don't be a trader that just you know uses textbook examples use everything that you know to your advantage because the goal here is to protect your account not just to take any random trade right you want to make profit in your account at the same time protecting your capital right so after you consider all of these i know that look nasdaq is on an overall uptrend right it has broken yes out of this trend line but it also rejected off of a major zone the 200 moving average is telling me that nasdaq has rejected price action is looking really good at that zone so do i really want to look for buying positions or if i get selling positions do i want to stay in those selling positions for too long these are the things you will be asking yourself right so with that said and done right let's just delete this one right over here and then now let's look at this zone right over here so we don't care about what is happening at the back we want to focus on the current price firstly you can already see that here we can pull a trend line right over here like this right so we have a little exclamation right over here so there is potential of the market moving from this zone where it is to go and touch this trend line or touch that trend line that already tells you that you want to be looking for buying positions right so let's go on to a lower time frame so that it even makes more sense right so the four hour time frame this is top down analysis you want to use uh, you know higher time frames for top down analysis i'm not just going to look at this zone like this and then think that oh yeah i want the market to get to this level and then push down let me analyze the trend line let me refine my entry right on the trend lines on four hour time frame so if you remember in another video i said that the daily time frame is for getting the overall picture the four hour time frame is for refining your horizontal rays and your trend lines that's what i want to do right over here let me look at this market and see that yes in as much as i have a really good trend line like this with you know one two three four touches and i'm expecting the fifth touch i can also consider the fact that before this trend line did that it had this trend line right over here right now notice this is not a wrong trend line someone can draw this trend line and the market can give a fake out of a trend line like this and this part right over here can be a false breakout when this market had this trend line right not even can be right so this zone right over here was a false breakout when the market you know had this trend line so remember we had this trend line right over here right and then we've seen the market playing around at this zone and then it faked a breakout right so instead of it pushing up to the top it just reversed and fell down right so that zone can be a really dangerous zone so we should consider that trend line that we had so we should ignore we can you know not should right we can ignore this here before we just you know dive into this main trend line that we currently have we should consider this one right over here and with that already said and done you can see that the market is sitting at a really good spot touching the trend line and whenever you have a trend line touch you want it to break out of it you know or reject off of it right so i really don't like drawing this type of trend lines that are like this but you can see the market is forming this little trend line right over here but i don't like those ones because they 
they cloud your vision, right? They'll make you want to take cells when you're on an uptrend. So I really don't like to, to consider those. Instead, the trend line that I'm actually going to now want to consider is the lower one. So you can see that we have a low at the zone. We have a higher low at the zone. So what we want is also another higher low at the zone, right? So whenever we get this high low, so we're saying that we want to buy when price comes and rejects off of this level. You already know that the market does not really just reject at a trend line. It wants to go and get a really good position to reject off of right so let me just remove this for a moment so considering this trend line that you're seeing here don't ignore it right the market can reject off of this level and push down right so those that are like you know scalpers can take a sell from the zone and write it down to the bottom and if it rejects right if it has good price action rejecting if it breaks out of this level you want it to go to touch this trend line and then you know that's when you now this trend line becomes invalid right if it breaks out of this trend line it becomes invalid really you're not looking for any position then you now put your main trend line that's like this right so you're not saying the market if it comes to this trend line right over here you want to wait for it to reject at this level right you can see we can consider this level right over here I always like to consider these zones that are like, you know, important, right? We can consider this zone, right? So, so long it just comes to the zone, we want to consider this whole area here before we look for buying positions. And then it will obviously form a little, some sort of, you know, you know, some sort of pattern right over here, probably a ranging market or whatever. And then if it breaks out of that zone, then we now look for good, you know, buying positions. But if it does not, we can sell it off of this level, right? So, what this trend line we are over and done with it i want to focus on this one here because that's what the market might do right so we already have we already spoke about our lows and the higher low right so we can draw a trend line like this right let me delete this one because we do not need it right over here so we're saying that we want the market to come back to the zone right if it does we don't want to just go and buy at this zone because it can fake out so we want to buy it in this zone here right you can see that this was a level that we should consider so if the market comes into the zone this is where we want to look for good price action we want to look for candlestick formations here we want to look for all those pin buzz bullish engulfing in this region here and then we can now write it up to the top or we can consider this as a zone we could consider it when we are now just using the horizontal raise right we could consider this as a zone right over here and those traders that don't like to take risks right you can actually just you know use the horizontal raise you know this is my favorite type of analysis where it breaks out of the zone and then you know it pushes up to the next level right over there to this zone right so in trading whatever strategy you want to use will work the most important thing is to actually then just apply proper risk management because i was talking to one of a really good trader and i was telling them i was like you know i can literally give a signal to someone i can come into this group with five thousand people and tell you to buy nasdaq and you know that we're going to have like, you know, a lot of people that are not going to profit from a good signal just because first of all, they don't know how to position size. Secondly, they risk a lot of money when, you know, they forget the fact that just because it's a signal just because it's a good setup, it doesn't mean that it's going to go in your direction, right? So if you're going to risk everything on one single setup or one single signal right and then it goes bad or it goes against you then you're not going to be able to take the next setup or the next signal. we end up with traders that i can give you a signal and you will be an unprofitable trader yet i will take the same signal and be a profitable trader because we just trade you know we just have different trading styles we just understand our psychology in the market is just different right so if you want to see, you know, good progress on your portfolio, right? Just, you know, be a normal person that actually understands the fact that every signal or every setup you're going to get is not going to go in your direction, right? Just because you took a winning trade today, it doesn't mean you're going to take a winning trade tomorrow. And the day that you don't take a winning trade, the day you take a loss, your account should be able to survive that so that you can take the next trade after that. But this is it for NASDAQ, right? Let's just check out US 30 right over here and see the thing I like about NASDAQ and US 30 is they almost have the exact same setup, right? So for US 30, I'm actually just going to use the horizontal ray approach right over here. We can see that the market is struggling to break out of this particular zone, right? So that is very simple. If the market is struggling to break out of that zone, it means it's a resistance zone. And if it breaks out of it, it has already been turned to support. So if it breaks out of this zone, right, we want it to close above, or above this level right over here for us to go in for our buying positions but a safer buying position will be using 
but a safer buying position on us 30 will be using uh, this trend line is not really nice right but we could draw it like this or if it gives us another you know leg right over here we could draw a really nice trend line and then use this zone right over here right and then use this zone to buy off of right over here and then you should consider that it might break out of it and then we can also use this wig for us to look for buying positions but if it breaks out of all of these zones then this is already a sell if it breaks and closes outside of this zone because that already shows us the buyers do not have you know they cannot hold the market up at the top right over there but you know that the first target is, is going to be here right so you should consider if it's good risk to reward ratio you know one as to one with your stock loss right below here if you enter from the breakout or if you enter from the zone at the bottom with your stop loss right at the zone and then you're targeting this is the first level you would target and then the second level would be right at the top nothing too complicated almost the same thing as nasdaq has and what is gold saying right what is gold saying i like to trade gold as a scalper i don't like to you know to swing trade gold right because <laughs> yo gold is very volatile right i like to use gold to grow you know for dollar accounts when when i'm trying to make one of those videos and and right now just looking at gold i do not see any you know set up i do not actually see anything uh nice on gold right so we were having this trend line right over there and then it got rejected if you wanted to take a trade on gold you're already late because look at this you know daily time frame candle so obviously right now you're now waiting for the tops right you're now waiting for the highs it's trying to go and you know it's trying to go and play around with the highs but if i'm being honest i don't see any setup on gold right over here and that's why i was a little skeptical about taking a trade on gold so this would be our level right the first level and then this could be the second the second level and by the time gold gets to that zone i think you know the week could be done right so we can consider this trend line right over here and do the exact same thing so now it's now a patience game right over here so if the market goes back to this level right on gold you want to consider this zone right over here so if it goes and retest this trend line which is highly unlikely it might just keep pushing up but if it does push up you have to just now you know find another entry you want to you want it to go back from this level to go down to the zone and then you know keep pushing up but if we keep reducing our you know time frames we could see something i think we could get something really good right because gold for me is a scalping you know thingy right so we can draw another trend line like this um yeah it's coming out right it's coming together this is this is a trend within the trend right this is when you really want to force you want to force setups right over here what i'm doing just for analysis but if it is me personally i won't even open the chart on gold as it looks like this i don't see any setup i don't know maybe some you know strategy sees another setup here on gold but as for me i don't see anything except for this trend line that i just drew and then if it breaks out of it nah i don't think it can retest here it would just want to fake out and then retest and we also have a lot of of zones at this part right so i think it's, it'll be a good idea to just you know wait for it to get to the specific zones if it comes to the zone then you want to look for buys in this area or if it breaks out of the highs then you want to continue with the buys but other than that nasdaq is my favorite pair right over here i see a lot of opportunity on nasdaq you can take it from any approach that you like i see really good opportunities on the nasdaq right over here here and it's about to be a really a good week but if you did enjoy that video don't forget to hit the like button turn on your post notifications and subscribe to the channel it will help me grow and keep providing you know content for you guys with that it's been tino and i'll see you in the next lit video peace